Okay, so this is the this is the painting that I started, which uh, I'm sure you, you do remember. This was uh, basically right here in this far corner. You can see the uh, the the Mont graveyard, and uh, the scene that you have right here is the kind of that super kind of fantastical idea of where murder is kind of glorified in some way. And uh, again, like I said, painting something like this, working on this for a few hours at a time, you know, can get depressing. So I started another one. Okay, so this is the new painting that I started. And basically this is what it's going to ultimately be is what's called a diptych. And that is where you have two paintings. They are basically dealing with the same thing, maybe, maybe the the composition might vary, maybe the subject matter might vary a little, but they're pretty much, they go together. You have diptychs and you have triptychs. Diptych is, of course, with two and a triptych is with three. And so this one, as you can see, the composition is somewhat similar in that you've got the, you've got uh, the giant books there that are stacked up. And in this one, as opposed to the, cruise, the, the mock graveyard in the corner, what you have is, uh, a graduation taking place and I'm going to see if I can focus in on that and this is just started so it's barely I barely even have it blocked in but if you can remember the last one you had on the corner on this far corner you had the crucifixes whereas in this one you've got so if I can zero and you've got you've got students that are you know that are graduating and in this one let me just uh, pull back a little I've got I've got the the students are taking up uh, a good portion of the of the of the foreground of the of the painting, and this is just to to put a positive spin on it. And uh, right up here, right above it, is the uh, is the kind of the rough sketch, the drawing that I started for it. And uh, originally, I was going to have it be the same thing, where you just had one corner where you had the you know the same thing where you had the in the first painting you have in the corner you have the crucifixes and I was just going to have the uh, the same amount of uh, space in the second painting dedicated to you know the the graduation ceremony but I decided to let it you know kind of spill out a little so this was for the from the drawings if I can if you can see where I've got you know the students he's got his he's got his diploma and he's you know, arms raised up happily, and you've got, you know, other students that are, you know, waiting to go up on stage and get their, and get their diplomas. And so what I decided to do was, again, just bring it down here to the, to the painting. I changed it a little, and again, it's not yet finished, you know, but uh, I just decided to put more emphasis on, pull back a little, put more emphasis on, on the graduation. And again, in the drawing, pull up here, you can see what I've got on the books. I've got a, the same thing, I'm gonna have figures, but they're gonna be sitting and reading, and some of the words say it's from a, a song by Tupac Shakur. It says, just cause you're in the ghetto doesn't mean, go over here, you can't grow. Just cause you're in the ghetto doesn't mean you can't grow. And so I decided to do a second one, a second painting, just to have a, you know, a more positive spin. Because that first one, you know, it can get a little depressing. You know what I'm saying? So anyways, that's the art project that I started. And I haven't finished it yet. But hopefully it will be. So this is my painting, the second painting for the uh, art project. And if you see this, then that means that I successfully uploaded this video. Okay. This is Rebel Frack.